Welcome to a visit to Ireland through its music and verse.
We started with The Last Rose of Summer, one of the most well-known Irish airs. The melody is a traditional tune from the ancient oral tradition, transcribed in 1792. The Irish poet and lyricist Thomas More, who lived from 1779 to 1852, set the music to his poem, The Last Rose of Summer, written while he was in County Kilkenny. This marked the start of the transition in popular Irish culture from the use of Gaelic to English. Many composers, including Mendelssohn, Beethoven, and Benjamin Britten, composed works inspired by this melody. Now we move to Irish dance music, which we have divided into two groups. The first group features three of the most popular dance forms in Ireland, the jig, danced in hard shoes, the reel, danced in soft shoes, both originally from England, and the waltz.
You can't talk about Ireland without talking about the centuries of oppression by the British occupation. It's a common story, an invading culture's dominance over another with restrictions against traditions and language. Ireland's struggle to keep Gaelic alive has been called a subtle revenge of turning their oppressor's speech into sorcery. In fact, some of the greatest writers in the English language are, in fact, Irish. James Joyce, Jonathan Swift, Oscar Wilde, George Bernard Shaw, Samuel Beckett, Bram Stoker, and William Butler Yeats. According to Yeats, the Sally Gardens was an attempt to reconstruct an old song from three lines, imperfectly remembered by an old peasant woman. There are several Irish tunes with the title Foggy Dew, but this traditional melody was transcribed for an 1804 collection. Irish-American tenor Robert White asked his friend, Grammy, Pulitzer, and Oscar award-winning American composer John Curiliano to arrange Irish folk songs for him. That collaboration led to these evocative arrangements for voice and flute, and I had the pleasure of performing them with Bobby White.
The second group of dance music includes Brian Borough's March. Brian Borough was the ninth century High King of Ireland. Well known throughout the ancient Gaelic Nordic world, he was mentioned in Scandinavian sagas and was founder of the O'Brien clan. Clare found the tune, The Poor Irish Boy, and The King of the Fairies Reel, in a sweet collection of Irish tunes her sister gave her. Interestingly, it notes that The Poor Irish Boy was transcribed by George Frederick Handel, who spent nine months in Dublin in 1741 and 1742.
Traditional Irish music evolves alongside its popular music. Singer-songwriter Enya from County Donegal grew up playing traditional music, but is most known for her songs like Book of Days, which was used in the 1992 film Far and Away. The most famous band out of Ireland, U2, is known both for their political statements in music like Sunday Bloody Sunday, but also for yearning love songs like All I Want Is You.
great excitement that Osiris Gallery at Concordia College reopens with a photo album of Ironman. After being closed for several months, I am thrilled to be able to welcome guests back to the gallery. I'm Elizabeth Ranka, the Executive Director, and I look forward to seeing you here. A photo album of Ireland is curated from the photography collections of five families living in Ireland. These photographs tell the personal histories of these families and document the day-to-day -day lives of private individuals. The photographs span over a 100-year period from the 1850s to the 1980s. And they give us a fascinating insight into the lives of private people and the changing times in Ireland. The photographs show happy times and also times of turmoil, like the troubles in the North. We hope that you come see this show. It will be on view through November 7th. Please note that we also have new health and safety protocols in place, and you can view those on our website under the Visit Us page. Thank you, and I hope to see you soon.